Hi Leo, welcome back in. Let's see what messages come through for you this week, Leo. Reverse the roles if needed, switch the cases. Do check your other placements. Moon rising, Venus and Jupiter, right? Let's quickly see, Leo, what is coming up for you and what you need to hear right now. Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Leo, the world energy is showing up. There's some kind of completion happening here. A chapter coming to an end, a new chapter starting. Some kind of things that you are getting rid of. I see fixed sign energy around you and oh my god. There is a new connection or for some of you, there's a current connection which is transforming here, right? I see you are definitely going through a change here, right? There's some kind of cycles shifting in your life. And meanwhile, I see a relationship, a connection. Possibly for some of you, I see a Virgo energy entering, bringing new offer of love, right? Relationships. This reading, this energy, this week. <clears throat> love can dominate this week, right? Wow, Leo. As you know, oh my god, Leo, two of cups is showing up here again. What is cooking? Let's see. Leo. Okay. So, Leo, I see that uh, in the recent past for some of you, or this is the current energy going on. I see Aries, Leo, Sag, this can be a fire sign around you, this can be your energy, but there is a strong passion around you or there was a strong passion around you, right? For some of you, I see you felt stuck on a situation and both ways, either you tried, you kept on trying, working over it, tried working over it, or you tried avoiding it both ways i'm picking up halfway for both of you either you tried avoiding something that was keeping you stuck or you tried working over something through focus which was keeping you stuck right both ways i see there was a situation that was leading to conflict the situation was ending in some kind of conflict the situation was causing too much fight right there was something which you're trying to figure out here trying to look at the situation with a different perspective i do see you tried focusing over different things also right but whatever you did it was leading to conflict it was ending up in conflict here right or it did right it, it's already it's already happened so let's see what is this week bringing for you leo we have four of pentacles i see you are right now in that position where you're not trusting something right in your current energies you're not opening up to something because yeah there's so strong energy of blocking your heart chakra for some of you i'm picking up that you guys are experiencing a massive conflict here about something and this experience is not letting you to open up to either new situations new experiences or you are just not convinced that this is the right time, right? There's something which is not letting you open here. But I do see eventually investment coming in. So for some of you, you are getting ready to invest. And for rest of you, uh, I see there's somebody coming in investing, right? You might feel that this person is trying to put in effort, but I'm confused. I don't know what to do. Both ways, Leo, I see you are totally in your mind. Two of Swords is the center energy, next two days energy possibly. See, you are really confused about whether to hold back and resist and block something coming your way, block your heart chakra, or to just level up and Six of Pentacles invest, right? Give your share to something. Now, I'm getting a very interesting message here. This completion, this world card is showing me that whatever is keeping you stuck, and blindfolded and whatever you're not able to decide i see this week that energy is ending so some decision surrounding partnerships love or something important like that can be worked out this week right definitely making a decision this is indecision complete decision right and i see you sitting in this position because you have a thought on your mind for some of you i'm also picking up that there's a blindfold there's something you can't see clearly because of something of the past maybe let's see oh okay ten of cups coming out in reverse let's see all right leo let's put these cards back We're going to see where the situation is heading, is heading, Leo. I do see that in the middle of this week, you're finding yourself in a kind of soup, whether to invest or not, because 
I see you tried putting in effort, you were focused, you tried looking at the situation from a different perspective, but it was all adding up to con conflict I'm picking up. So one thing I'm convinced here is that eventually the cycle is shifting. Let's see what, ki what can be the possible outcome or potential future, right, in this situation. Seven of Wands, holy, oh my god, you're blocking this, you're ending it. And two of Pentacles, you're struggling with it. Wow. So we saw King of Wands in the beginning and now we have the Queen of Wands under the deck. I do see there's a power couple. Somebody who has been a little manipulative and dishonest with you in past. I see the star in the Page of Cups. This person is hoping for an apology or they're hoping to come and apologize to you. I do still feel that some kind of manipulation and trickery is still there. But anyways... I see you putting a full stop to something and specifically the struggle, the, the spiral that's continuing here. I, I think you don't want to carry it forward. You're putting an end to something towards the end of this week. Very interesting energy. Let's try to clarify a few cards, right? Leo. Let's see what is this world energy first. I definitely see something ending, something shifting and ending and completing. Four of Wands, Three of Pentacles. For some of you, I see the confusion coming to an end. Four of Wands is a new relationship. For some of you, you're giving up on the past so that you can build a new connection. For some of you, I'm picking up that some construction work is going on. Maybe somebody's building the house or some renovation in the house is happening. But for a lot of you, I see this. This is not physical building. This is rather picking up that this is more building a foundation with somebody, right? Completing the conflict, ending the conflict, right? Let's see what is this conflict about. I see you tried looking at the situation with a different perspective, but the conflict still remained. What is this conflict? Six of Swords, Two of Swords, Nine of Wands. Whether to let go of something, move forward in a situation. For some of you, take the responsibility of something. Or Nine of Wands, simply just stay guarded and protect what you have created. I see that there's some kind of defensiveness. And Two of Swords is showing me that there is something which is not clear to you. Lack of clarity is actually fucking over with your mind and... You're very guarded about taking the responsibility of something. So, okay. Let's see what is not letting you open up to the situation. Queen of Cups, Justice, Death and Queen of... Oh my God, okay. For some of you, there are two people, right? There are two people in the situation. One of you is dealing with multiple parties. I see justice needs to be established. I see one situation has to end, karma, and uh, for some of you, justice, ten of swords. You're understanding that one situation will have to end, and one thing is there which is not working. Death has deep transformation. I see a new fire sign entering the scenes for some of you. Fire and fire. Possibly this is a power couple energy, right? Very strong attraction. But there is somebody who is in love with you or there is some past connection. Somebody you loved in past or you had compassion for. That situation is still, you know, fucking up with your mind. What are you blocking? Let's see in this week, I see you definitely putting a full stop to something. What are you blocking here? Ace of Cups, Four of Swords and the King of Swords. Now I'm getting two storylines for some of you. Because there's something happening here, uh, you guys are not accepting new love in your life. But this is going to be for few of you. Because for most of you, I'm picking up that you guys are blocking the past situation, holding silent and cutting the cords with something, king of swords energy, very angrily cutting something off because you're finding new love. So both ways, I'm picking up that definitely you are ending something, Right. The question is whether you accept new love or not, Leo. That's the question. Because I definitely see past situation is not something you're working over. Because you're healing and transforming. So whether you're open for new love or not, that's the question. What is this two of pentacles energy here? Yeah? Chariot and Hierophant. Okay, for some of you, it's like stay in a contract with something, somebody, or in a situation, stay in that loop. Or just set yourself free and move on. Five of swords under the deck. Move away from a contract which is manipulative or some kind of dishonesty is there, right? Or find a new path, new direction. Wow. Let's see, Leo, what do you need to hear? Very interesting energy. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, what do you need to hear? Strength.
friend Cleo, hold on to your power. Beautiful. And we have two of wands. Universe is giving you strength to level up and make the decision this week. Are you going to take the lead? That's the question. Personal power and assertiveness portrayed with kindness. Compassion that brings about forgiveness. Realizing that you're stronger than you knew. Leo, this is so you. This is so you. For some of you, I'm picking up that there is a connection that is dying in your life. And that was a past situation. Possibly with a water sign. There's a new power couple energy entering the scenes. But I see you resisting it. And you hope, you know, the strength is not coming yet. Because there's something which is... Um, which is tough to give up on, right? I see you still healing from it. And there's a new connection. Four of Wands. Are you ready to build the foundation of the new connection? Or you want time, you need time to heal and level up. The decision time is coming in. And here comes the decision. Taking the new steps. Bold and ambitious choices. Partnering with others who share your dream. Expanding your plans. Continue to move forward. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. I see this is the week of making decisions after, after a phase where you don't know what to do. After a phase where you're not convinced what to do. You're a little confused. I see till the middle of this week some confusion is going to stay there. But you're at the end you're coming up with strong power. Blocking things that are not serving you for some of you ending contracts and not staying in a loop in some kind of karmic contract if it is so. For rest of you, you are struggling to make a decision whether you're ready for a new contract, new love or not, right? Wow. Interesting. Definitely I see the situation is going to end with some kind of important decision in your life. And I saw a new beginning here. Wow. Twin flame is not ready. That's also interesting. What Leo needs to hear? Let's see. Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter. Let's see Leo. Uh, okay. Second chances. There's somebody who's looking for second chances here. Twin flame is near. So for some of you, I'm picking up that back in time when the situation started, what you, your two, two, I'm sorry, your twin flame was not ready. Now, in this deck, it shows up twin flame, but I, in general readings, I don't force twin flame energies, right? It can be twin flame, it can be soulmate or a connection which is strong and dear to you, right? So you can see, if you feel that you're dealing with somebody who's a twin flame, possibly this energy is for you. For rest of you, this can be different thing, right? trust is showing up and chemistry so for some of you chemistry is showing up as the newer connection that i'm picking up fire sign energy you and somebody very strong chemistry uh for some of you i'm picking up there's a karmic connection and a new connection for some of you i'm picking up that there is a, an ongoing twin flame energy which is really messing up with your brain and you the situation is asking for you to have faith Let's see, what are you blocking here, Leo? So anything which is just based on passion, anything which is just chemistry and nothing solid. I see this week you can block that, right? And there is definitely a new start coming in here. The same cards are showing up, right? For some of you, Twin Flame is not ready, is coming up with the player energy. So for some of you, this can be a case where you are relying on somebody, you're expecting somebody to return, but that person is non-committal right now, right? Last but not the least, what Leo needs to hear. One more card. Forgiveness. Yeah. Again, Twin Flame is near. This is showing up again. There's somebody who's around you who wants to forgive uh, the past and wants to be forgiven. <laughs> it's like forgive and forgiveness. You know, it's like I forgive myself and I forgive others. That's the energy here. But for a lot of you, this person wants, apo wants to apologize, right? Second chances, apology. The chemistry is strong. The passion is strong. The question is whether they, whether you're going to trust it or not. Right, Leo? One last card and then we're going to wind up this reading. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Resolving conflict. And my God, the... The first thing that I picked up in the beginning of this reading was conflict. You tried working over the situation in different ways, by different means, but everything was eventually adding up to conflict. And resolving conflict is showing me that this is the time some conflicts are resolved because the chemistry, the passion, the 
the thing that you share with somebody is very strong and i definitely see second chances here right distorted masculine for some of you you guys are in some very strong soul contract and the masculine energy is distorted this person is fucked up i see bills i see time running by getting late for office not really try not really able to build back the life you know uh, bills piling up and uh, loan I'm, I'm hearing loan for some of you somebody that i see this is somebody you're dealing with this person has been trusting wrong people for someone specific i heard gambling and drinking also so it can be the case or simply this person is doing so many things at once and they're not able to do any of it right completely so whatever you're dealing with i see uh that situation is coming around and that was leading to more and more conflict in your surroundings but this is the time you resolve conflict or this person wants to resolve conflict with you right so this is what i have for you for this week thank you so much guys for watching bye